Welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're continuing to look at Topaz Studio 2. Uh, we're going through each and every one of the filters. I hope you're enjoying these uh, tutorials. I'm having a lot of fun making them. Today's a short tutorial. We're looking at the uh, Reduce Noise filter. In Topaz Studio 2, you know, we have, and let's just click here to add filter here so we can take a look at the different filters. Now, we looked at AI Clear. I love this filter. For me, for noise reduction, this is a filter I'm going to use pretty much all the time. I don't even know why we have this reduced noise filter here, but Topaz, I guess, believe that we need it here. But I'm, I'm thinking we have AI Clear, so why do we really need a reduced noise filter? But it's there if you should need it. So let's go over it because it is here and it is one of the filters and I did promise I would go over each and every one. So let's go ahead here and click on reduce noise. And of course we have our typical controls here. We have our opacity slider here so we can adjust the amount of the effect. We have our blend modes. We have our presets here. And then we have these sliders here. Remove noise. Slide this to the right. You'll remove noise in your image. We have fine noise. We can, we can reduce reduce the finer noise areas of the image with fine noise. We can reduce any color noise if we have that in the image with the color noise. And then we have a reduced lens blur, which will give us a little bit of sharpening to our image. So it's doing basically the things that the AI Clear are doing, only AI Clear is doing it with artificial intelligence. And it is a superb filter, so I would really recommend using that. This is one you may want to play with. If for some reason uh, AI Clear may not work right on an image, then I would drop to this filter here okay so maybe that's why they add it just in case you might get a certain image that ai clear just does not quite work with the artificial intelligence is getting goofy with it so you could default to this reduce noise and it it works really well here so this particular image i shot with a canon 5d mark ii uh it can be a little bit noisy at high isos this was shot at iso 2000 so let me zoom in and you'll see it there's some noise in there right uh, this was a lens baby shot, so it has a nice soft blurry background. This is the area of focus right in here. So let's just zoom into this area right in here so we can see some noise here and the sharp areas of the image here. So let's start off with these presets here. Let's go to apply preset, give this drop down here menu a click. And let's go, I don't really see color noise in here, so I'm going to go to heavy noise. This noise is rather heavy. It's not super heavy, so let's start with light noise. Let's try one of these presets, light noise. That does a really nice job of getting rid of the noise. Now you'll notice here, it added 0.23 on the remove noise. It added a little bit of fine noise reduction here. And color noise, it left at zero. And reduce blur, it did not sharpen the image at all. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's try another preset, heavy noise. Let's give that a click. That gets a little soft. Look how soft that gets in here. Okay, let me go up to the eyeball here so we can see the before and after. So here is the before and here's the after. But notice it gets a little, it gets kind of soft in here. Now you may want to use this for an artistic look, but I, that's really way too much noise reduction. So I would not use that in this image because the noise level isn't that high. It's high, but not that high. So let's go and click on this layer, reduce noise again so we can get our controls back up. Um, let's go ahead and let's set this on let's go to this apply preset again and let's go to light noise because I think that did a pretty nice job there and remember this number here 0.23 let's start to pull that back a little bit there's our noise and let's slowly move it up just so we see that noise going away and you know that was a pretty good number right there now let's double click find noise and take that back we'll remember that number 0.30 and you know i don't really see much in the terms of fine noise but i might just bump that up for a little bit just to say just in case there's some fine noise in there we got her out color noise let's zoom in a little more here i really don't see color noise so i'm just going to leave that alone i'm not going to touch it and let's check out this uh reduced lens blur let's start to pull this to the right which will make it sharper and it's not going crazy, crazily sharp here. I don't know if that's a word, crazily. But let's zoom in a little closer here. Okay, so that's 0.89. Let's take the hoy back down so we can see. Yeah. So that got a little softer. Let's move it up. Yeah. This is nice. It's adding sharpening, but it's not giving it that crunchy, ugly look. Now, it did bring my noise up in here a little bit, as you can see right here. 
So I might, after, if I bring that lens blur up, reduce lens blur up a little bit, I may want to take my reduce, remove noise and move it up a little bit. Let's just see. Yeah, I might want to get a little more aggressive with that. Let's back out of the image. Okay, so let's see our overall before and after. So here is our before and here's our after. Now we can't really see much effect there because we are reducing noise and that's really in the minute details of the image in here. So let's just zoom into this area right in here. So let's now let's click the eyeball. Here is before you can see the noise and here is the after. All right, so it does a pretty nice job. So here's where I would say to use this filter. If you have an image that uh, AI clear is just not quite working right, it generally works all the time and I love it. It's pretty much a one click deal. Um, but if it's not working right, you can go to reduce noise. And that's probably why Topaz left this in or put this filter in because I know they had this filter. I'm pretty sure before they had AI clear. So I'm sure they left it in in case AI clear failed us. We could come back and use the reduce noise. Well, there it is today. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please like and share with your friends. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed, as I always say, please do so. It really helps me out. And click the bell notification icon. This way you'll be informed of all the new training videos that I'm putting out. Well, thanks again for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see everyone right here next time.